Craig and Travis here at Punisher's Paintball. Uh, today we're going to do a quick review, shooting video, and efficiency test of the new high flow firing chamber for the Shocker RSX. So here's our setup. Two Ninja SL77s filled to 4K with one shim. The stock engine will be the green back cap and the new engine will be the black back cap. Shocker RSX, stock engine, shooting test and efficiency. First pod using GI 3 star. Three oh three, two eighty three, two ninety three, two eighty three, two ninety three, two ninety five, two ninety two. Two ninety six, two eighty seven, two ninety five, two ninety two. Two ninety two. Two seventy one, two sixty three, two seventy, two sixty eight. All right, a little bit of drop off now. Two seventy six, two seventy one, two sixty one, two sixty. Give it a rope. Two sixty five, two sixty seven. 250, 259. All right, let's just call it there, getting some drop off.
All right, so we probably got three fourths of a pod left in that one. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and like I said, three fourths. So a little over nine pods in a Ninja 77 with the stock core. All right guys, and now we have the new can for the Shocker RSX. Installing it, same gun, um, same output pressure on the tank, and here we go. Two ninety five, two eighty seven, two ninety one, and two eighty four. Two ninety one, two eighty nine, two ninety, two ninety four. Two ninety two, two eighty six, two ninety seven, and two ninety two. Two seventy seven, two eighty, two eighty seven. Two sixty six, two sixty six, two sixty four, two seventy one. Two fifty nine. 262, 258, 265, 275. Yeah, I'd call it there. And we'll call it. Final. 240, 244, 234. Huh?
we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and a fourth ish, nine and a fourth ish pod. Guys, I'm going to show you the differences between the new high flow firing chamber and the original firing chamber. As you can see, the original firing chamber had these milled out windows, you were able to see the uh, bolt, and as you can also see, they added an, another o-ring on the new firing chamber. We'll take the new firing chamber apart, comes apart just like the old one, unscrew your, the front part, pop your bolt out, bolt's exactly the same, and the firing chamber is two piece so you can unscrew this get in there clean it out get in there and clean it the major differences as far as design is like I said they have a solid firing chamber and the gas is routed through the back of the firing chamber That's it. Like I said, there's not many, but there is some. Um, to run some numbers by you real quick, the old can averaged at 291 feet per second and was plus or minus 10. And the new can was averaging at 289 feet per second and was plus or minus 6. So the new can was slightly more consistent. And also as far as efficiency wise, the new can got about a half a pod more. So it wasn't a really big difference but um, they didn't advertise a big difference in that. It was just a mild increase, is what they said. So, about half a pod, but every ball counts. As far as shot quality goes, uh, it still has the same shocker feel, uh, but it is slightly smoother. It's not a whole lot, but it is slightly noticeable. Um, as of right now, the two-piece design is great. It's really easy to clean and maintain. And as of right now, these are only available in the shockers that are currently in production and not available for retail sale. But when they are, check out PunishersPaintball.com to get you one. Alright guys, and just uh, thanks for watching and like, comment, subscribe.